I mean, they were supportive. I mean, I saw all different kinds and types of parents watch my teammates have to work through some hard things. My parents, there's so much I've learned from them in how I want to parent my own kids when it comes to sport. It was always academics first. That was it, right? So that was always like, that's the focus in our house is academics. Sports, something you love. All right, let's do it. And if we're going to do it, we'll do it well. And there were times I hated, I was mad at them because they were like, we, you signed up for a season, you need to go to practice. And I'm like, I don't want to go to practice. Yeah. And so they, they, they taught me, they not only told me, but they taught me through their actions of what hard work was and loyalty and commitment. So if I started a season, they're like, okay, by the end of the season, if you don't want to do it anymore, you don't have to, but you're going to finish out a commitment. So there was that kind of relationship there, which was hard as a kid because you just want to be like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to listen yeah. to you. But they, all, but they taught me so much. And then they made the sacrifice. When I was 14, I wanted to quit. So that was where my body was changing. And there were comments made to me um, by coaches that were completely inappropriate about my body. It made me feel really self-conscious. And yeah. that I slipped into this dark space. And my mom's like, I said to her, I don't want to swim anymore. And I had, I had catapulted in like four years from not making the swim team to making junior nationals, you know, in wow. a really short amount of time. Yeah. And she was like, uh. Do you not want to swim or you need to change teams? And how about this team? So they sacrificed. I mean, my parents were, they were teen parents with my brother. Yeah. A, my dad ran a family business. My mom was in school to be a nurse. She went back to school. She was waitressing at night and doing a daycare during the day. And I'm one of four. I mean, that level of, wow. of sacrifice to then take me an hour away to, to practice. Yeah. So that I could live out my dream. I mean, that. You know what's cool about that is that my dad drove me and I didn't have a relationship with him at that time. Yeah. And we were forced to sit in the car together for an hour <laughs> at a time. Uh, yeah. As I got older, it was really about them just supporting me. I mean, they really nailed the whole unconditional piece. Yeah. Because if I didn't swim well, like that was, I'm still me, you know? And that was huge because I saw so many parents who got really wrapped up in the drama of it all and really yeah. emotional and they met their kids sort of instead of being here when their kids are up and down they were matching them and it was right. you know it's really hard to watch so i learned a lot and it and it i think as a parent now of four yeah. i'm just like how did you do this <laughs> <laughs> it's given me so much respect for them and it really helped us to become close you know so yeah, yeah.